A princess lived in a luxurious castle. She was only 14 years old, but she was terribly spoiled and moody. Once she came up with something for April to come, and there were spring flowers at the New Year's banquet. She issued a decree in which she announced the beginning of spring and promised to generously reward the one who brings snowdrops to the palace. In a small house on the outskirts of the city lived a stepmother with her daughter and stepdaughter. The stepdaughter was a very sweet and kind girl, and her name was Masha. The stepmother and daughter were very lazy and angry, and they hurt the poor girl in every possible way. They really wanted to receive the reward promised by the princess, but they could not think of where to get the snowdrops in winter. The old woman decided to send Masha to the forest to bring them spring flowers. The stepdaughter began to beg her stepmother to take pity on her, because it was dark and cold outside. And what kind of snowdrops can there be in winter? But the greedy old woman did not want to hear anything. She gave a larger basket and drove Masha out the door. The frozen girl was very scared in a dark forest. Suddenly, in the distance, she saw a light. She was delighted and went to meet him. It turned out that it was a large blazing fire, and twelve people were warming themselves around it. Plucking up her courage, the girl approached them and told them that the evil stepmother made her go into the forest and collect snowdrops. It turned out that it was twelve months. The brothers felt sorry for Masha, and they decided to help her. Brother April chanted a spell, and suddenly spring came in the forest and in the clearing. The snow melted, green grass appeared, snowdrops blossomed. The girl began to collect flowers and soon filled a large basket with them. Young April liked her very much, and he gave her a magic ring. If trouble happens, he must be thrown to the ground, a spell cast, and all twelve months will come to the rescue. Oh, yeah. Masha thanked them and went home. When the girl brought the snowdrops home, the stepmother and daughter were very surprised at this. Masha was very tired from the journey and immediately fell asleep soundly. Her half-sister suspected something was wrong. While the girl was sleeping, she found her magic ring and took it to herself. After waking up, the stepdaughter discovered the loss. She began to beg to return the ring, but her stepmother and daughter did not want to hear anything. Taking a basket of snowdrops, they hurried to the royal palace. In the palace there was a magnificently decorated New Year tree. But the upcoming celebration did not please the capricious princess at all. And only when the stepmother and daughter brought her a whole basket of snowdrops, the princess changed her anger to mercy. The stepmother could not clearly answer where the flowers came from, and she had to admit that her stepdaughter had collected them. The princess immediately decided to go to the meadow with snowdrops. On the way, she looked to poor Masha, so that she would show her the place where she picked flowers. The girl said she would show it, but only if the ring was returned to her. From such insolence, the princess was angry and threw away the ring. But the stepdaughter managed to cast a spell. Immediately a strong wind rose, thunder rumbled, foliage fell, and snow began to fall. Old Man January appeared before them. He invited everyone to make one wish. Out of fear, the princess wished to be in the palace as soon as possible. Masha made a wish that everything would return to its place in due time, winter in winter, summer in summer. The stepmother and her daughter were so frozen that they wanted fur coats from any fur, even from a dog. Saying this, the greedy women immediately turned into dogs. They were harnessed to a sleigh on which the princess was to get to the palace. Masha thanked the brothers for their help. They promised to turn the stepmother and her daughter back into humans, but only when they become obedient. Months gave the girl a wonderful big sled, harnessed by frisky horses. Seeing them, the princess asked for a ride to the palace. It was the first time in her life that the princess had uttered the word please. And Masha gladly agreed. A little mouse lived in one forest. He was very cowardly, and he was afraid even of the noise of the wind. All the animals in the forest laughed at him. And then, one day, the little mouse gathered all his will into a fist, and went to the king of the jungle. 
The lion had just finished his dinner and was dozing quietly in the shade, snoring loudly. The mouse approached him and began to climb up the tail. All the animals were curious about what he was up to. The little mouse was very scared, but he tried very hard not to notice it. He climbed onto the back of the lion and stood before his friends with an important look. And then the lion woke up. With one movement he threw the mouse to the ground and growled menacingly. All other animals were very excited. They thought that the lion was about to swallow the mouse. But instead, the lion asked what he was doing on his back. Gathering all his will into a fist, the mouse asked the king of the jungle to take him under his wing, so that he would not be afraid of anyone or anything else. Because he was the most cowardly animal in the forest. And in return he offered his help. The lion listened silently to the mouse. But he could not understand how a small mouse can help a large and strong lion. At first he laughed, and then with a loud roar chased the insolent man away. The mouse instantly ran away, glad that the lion would not eat him. All the other animals ran after him. Some time has passed. The lion got hungry and went hunting. But he did not notice the trap set by the hunters and fell into it. The king of beasts hung in the air, caught in a hunting net. He tried to get out of it, but could not do it. And since the lion was the king of the jungle, he could not bring himself to scream for help. No. Besides, hunters could hear him. <laughs> the animals saw the lion, but no one dared to come close to him. Oh, no. And the lion decided to trust fate, doing nothing. Quite by chance, the same little mouse was nearby. Seeing the king of beasts in the nets, he decided to help him. The little mouse climbed up the long tail of the lion, and when it reached the net, began to gnaw at it. After some time, a whole crowd of animals gathered near the trap. It was interesting for everyone to watch what was happening. Suddenly, somewhere far away, the cry of the hunters was heard. The animals got very scared and fled into the forest. But the mouse continued to stubbornly gnaw at the net. Eventually, the net broke and the lion freed himself from it. Without thinking twice, the mouse climbed onto his back, and they ran away. When the lion got to his cave, he apologized to the mouse. And he said that he had underestimated such a small animal, deciding that it would not be of any use. And for the fact that the little mouse saved the life of the king of beasts, now he no longer needs to fear anything or anyone. From now on, the lion takes him under his wing. All the animals, watching what was happening, laughed and applauded the brave mouse. Since then, the lion and the mouse have become best friends, and peace has reigned in the forest forever.